Star Wars issue 74 sees Luke defend himself and Waba from the stormtroopers before they are able to escape. Luke knew the thief would be back, but Waba says that she didn't even know she was going to come back for Luke, and he jokes about using a Jedi mind trick on her as they speed off. Luke says that he had a feeling about her, but Waba is only in it for the money. In the core, Han pilots the trio shuttle towards the Star Destroyer, but he wonders why they don't just leave. But Leia says that if they blow the boss's job, Carpo will take it out on Dar's people. Han knows this is the stupidest idea he's ever had, but Dar says that if it works, then they save a lot of lives. Dar tells Leia that he's honored to be there with them, since in his experience, sometimes the stupidest ideas are the right thing to do. Han contacts 3PO, telling him that they will need some help with their plan as Luke is looped into the conversation as well. Han asks how the young hero is going on his mission as a group of desert mangala mounted stormtroopers chase them through the desert. Han tells them that he's on his way to K43, but 3PO says Darth Vader is on the planet. Vader meanwhile fights the rock people as his officer asks if they should send air support. Vader requires no help, telling the man not to disturb him again. Han is happy since they can take him out as well as the planet, but 3PO reminds him that if they do that, the Kakrens will die as well. Han says that they will figure it all out as he tells 3PO to put them on a channel where the Imperials can hear them. The destroyer quickly picks up on the transmission, learning that they are headed to a secret rebel base on K-4. The officer wonders if his commander wants Admiral Ozzel to know, but the commander says that he doesn't want him getting all the glory for capturing the rebellion. Luke Mimo traps the pursuing troopers under a rock slide as they finally make it to the rebel base. He tells his men to get Waba to the next safest planet, and Waba wonders where he's going, learning that Luke is off to K-43 to deal with Vader, but she doesn't know why. Luke says that it's like she said, he's one with the Force and the Force is with him. Waba says that she isn't a teacher and doesn't know anything about the Force, just what a bunch of weirdos she heard chanting on the streets of Jeddah said, and he hasn't learnt anything from her, and if he tries to take on Darth Vader, he will die. Luke thinks about it for a moment, but still says that he must go, and knows Waba is more than what she seems. 3PO and Chewie meanwhile are led towards an exit, but the cave entrance is quickly covered by rock. 3PO says Chewie needs to dig them out of it, but the rock people tell them not to worry, since they will soon bury Vader and the others, and will have no need to hide. 3PO comes clean with the people, telling them that they have 74 seconds to get the detonators before the place and the planet will blow up. The rock people ask if the bombs were made by the people of the flesh, telling the droid not to worry since they can stop them. The beings touch a rock and begin generating electricity that can create a pulse that will burn out the bombs, but in doing so will also shut down 3PO and anything else electrical on the planet. The droid doesn't hesitate, telling his brother Stone to do it. 3PO tells Chewie that he's happy he was of service in some way as there is a huge electrical pulse which shorts out the bombs and 3PO. Vader also succumbs to the pulse, but he uses his force powers to dampen the effects. Above Chewbacca, Luke's X-Wing slams into the ground, also hit by the pulse. Luke scrambles out of the fighter, soon confronted by Darth Vader, but before the Sith Lord can fight the Jedi, Chewbacca arrives, smashing a rock over his head, grabbing Vader's arms as Vader tells him to enjoy this battle since it will be the Wookiee's last. Star Wars issue 74 signals the penultimate issue of this series as we head into a post Empire Strikes Back storyline. While there wasn't any big twists this issue, the action adventure is all there and continues on from the last couple of issues and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm not sure how I feel about Luke confronting Vader again since this isn't the first time he's done it in this series and not the first time he's done it before Empire Strikes Back apparently, but I did like how Chewie stepped into the fight to fist fight a Sith Lord. That was definitely some really cool imagery. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10.